but one company makes 24% of all the world's chips and more than 90% of the most advanced ones, the smallest, fastest chips used in today's iPhones, supercomputers, and automotive AI. In fact, we even have product that's landed on the last uh, Mars launch that are taking pictures of Mars. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, is not a household name, but it's quietly making chips for every new iPhone, U.S. fighter jets, the highest end processors, you name it. And now it's investing $100 billion over three years to ramp up production amid the shortage. The combined output of what we're doing is in excess of 12 million wafers a year. But the world's massive reliance on TSMC may also leave the global chip supply vulnerable to earthquakes, drought, and geopolitical tensions with China. It's become almost a monopoly at the leading edge, and all of those manufacturing operations, for the most part, are out of Taiwan, Pinchu. That becomes a matter of national importance for, for the United States, but not only the United States, but the Western world. TSMC almost always keeps its production sites closed to U.S. video crews, until now. The total crop space for this fab is around 2.3 million square foot. The U.S. was the birthplace of advanced silicon, but for decades now, it's been losing market share to Asia, where 75% of chip production happens now. TSMC is now bringing the world's most advanced chip making back to the U.S. with a $12 billion fabrication plant, or FAB, in the middle of the Arizona desert. It's going to be, when it gets introduced uh, to production in 2024, the most advanced technology manufactured in the United States. 